time for more cocktail archaeology, where we dive into the old tomes of cocktail lore and see if the drinks have stood up to the test of time. Today, we are going to reach for Charles Baker's The Southern American Gentleman's Companion. So these are all drinks that well, he wrote down in around 1951. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, the Gin and Burr Cocktail, doesn't sound very interesting actually. The Pineapple Gin Cocktail, nah. The Moderator Offers You Something. Oh, I like this one. The Grenadier. Uh, he says this will not only make you happy, but it will also cure a tummy ache. Okay, that, that's intriguing. Let's, I mean, because if you get a hangover, maybe it, I don't know, works for that, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so this is cognac, lemon or lime juice, a half a pony, whatever that is, of 151 rum. So we're going to put a little hair on the chest here. Uh, some sugar and tincture of Jamaica ginger, which I assume he means uh, ginger bitters. You're going to shake it. You're going to make it. And he says, we know damned well you'll never try this at a cocktail party. That's, that's good salesmanship. But it is worth something for medicinal use. Let's find out. All right, we don't need a whole lot for this cocktail. We start off with 151 rum, which, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing this is good for is flambe, but whatever. And our cognac, and we're good to go. All right, so let's make the grenadier. Need a shaker. And we need two ounces of cognac. And then we need half a pony or so of 151 rum. Half an ounce, half a pony, a third of a stallion, I don't know. All right, now we need two teaspoons of lemon or lime juice. Two, all right. And now we need, oh, we still need our teaspoon. We need a teaspoon of bar syrup. I don't have bar syrup, which is just simple syrup. So I use agave syrup. We also need our ginger bitters. So agave syrup, it works the same as simple syrup. It has a neutral flavor. It mixes really well in cocktails. It's fine. All right, now, he says shake with big ice, none of that small ice and strain into a stemmed cocktail glass, which we just happen to have right here. Now I find it interesting that he doesn't add the ginger bitters until after you've shaken and strained it, but we'll see. I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. All right. There we go. Okay. I mean, the, the bones of this don't seem horrible. All right, now he says, Start with one good dash, or about a quarter teaspoon, of ginger bitters. Taste, drink, then step up until quite pungent. I think you're supposed to say that with a British accent. Okay, now, uh, that's about a quarter teaspoon, right? Now I'm supposed to taste it. Actually, this ginger part depends on whether you're using the drink for bar or medicinal purposes. And if it's for medicinal, you're supposed to keep adding more. He doesn't say when to stop. Oh, actually, that's kind of nice. I'm kind of surprised. I like that. I'm just gonna keep adding more. He doesn't say when to stop. I mean, my tummy's not bothering me, but whatever. Actually, that's really good. I'm not complaining, I actually like it. This one, this one stood up to the test of time. So, well, congratulations, we have a success. All right, Charles Baker, you companion to South American gentlemen, whatever that means, uh, you win this time. The Grenadier turns out to be actually pretty good, and I will put it into regular rotation, particularly if my tummy is a little upset. <laughs>